Hey guys, thank you very much for being here. Today we're gonna share a lot of information with you that we think that's very important. Once again, this is Mr. Ben, and like you know, Mr. JST and I are here to serve you anywhere in the US. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us at 321-304-9913 or 321-217-8999. We can serve you anywhere in the U.S. Our goal is to try as immigrants like you to help you understand what's going on in the U.S. And then let's see exactly what's going on. Now, you see suspension and limitation on entry of immigrants and non-immigrants in the U.S. Look at that. Effective date, June 24, 2020. Why? June 24, 2020. Today is June 27. And this one, this termination, this is gonna be terminated on December 31st, 2020. And may be continued as necessary. What does that mean? If you do not know. The president took action this week to ban non-immigrants and some immigrants to come in the U.S. Now, you're gonna see in details what's going on. Let's see this one. You see, H-1B or H-2B. If you are H-1B or H-2B visa, you are outside the U.S., you cannot come. If you J visa, L visa, due to this decision, due to the president decision, you cannot come right now. Look at this. This proclamation shall apply only to any alien who is outside the U.S. from June 24. Any alien who does not have a non-immigrant visa that is valid on the effective, meaning if you did not have a visa already, right? After this decision, sorry, you cannot come back. You cannot come in. Sorry, you cannot come. Any alien who does not have an official travel document, that's very, very important. What do I mean? Or what does that mean? You, if you are a TPS holder, for any reasons, anywhere you come from, if you do not have your green card yet, if I were you, even though you have an advanced payroll, I encourage you to not travel outside the US. Meaning, when you're coming back, you might have issue to come back. That's the reason. If I were you, as long as you have your TPS or travel document, listen, do not travel outside the U.S. That might be a problem when you come back. That's not the good moment to go outside the U.S. even though you have your travel document handy. Now, this decision does not apply to everyone, but look at it. The limitation should not apply to any lawful permanent resident of the United States. Meaning, if you already have your green card, for any reasons, you are outside the U.S., that's not a problem to come back. If you already in US, people want to apply for you. That not can be a problem, as long as your people, US citizen, and decide to apply for you. Next, any alien you see, any alien who is the spouse or child of US citizen, meaning if you outside the US, your family members can still apply for you. 
any alien seeking to enter the U.S. to provide temporary labor, meaning if you are a nurse, a physician, or a doctor, that's okay. You can still come in. Any alien who is in, you see, any alien whose entry will be in the United, will be in the national interest of the country, that's okay. What do I mean by that? Do not let people fool you to tell you, hey, your visa, you cannot use your visa anymore because the president does this, does this or because the president does that. No, you are a professional. The country still needs you. You can still come in. All right, I just want to share this with you guys in order to have a better idea of what other people say. I don't know why. They make everybody scared. But if you follow those, I strongly encourage you. Go to the internet. Do your own research. Or subscribe to this channel. You're going to get a lot of information. Now, my question for you. Or my question to you, what about all the people who are looking for asylum? Can people still apply for asylum or refugee? Let's see this. Let's see this in a moment, right now. Can people still seek asylum? Is the answer nothing in this proclamation? shall be you see construed to limit the ability of an individual to seek his what asylum meaning my friends if you are already in the u.s as long as you can prove your life is in danger in your back home country Yes, you can still apply. This decision does not affect you at all. You can still apply. In the next video, I'm going to show you all the details in regard to asylum. Always remember that. We are here to serve you anywhere in the U.S., wherever you live, as long as you need our service. Mr. Gisney and I are here to serve you. Any questions, any comments, please feel free to share your ideas or give us a call. 321-304-9913. 321-217-8999. Like I said at the beginning, we are here to serve you. Feel free to contact us. And never, never, ever forget this. God is in control. Our God is in control. See you next time. We're going to share more information on asylum. Take care and have a good one.